Knaresborough is a picturesque Killy Market town in North Yorkshire, set on the River Nid. A warren of historic buildings, quaint streets and tiny doors, Knaresborough is a great choice for a day out in Yorkshire. There's more than enough here to do to fill the day, so in this video we will take you through an itinerary to help you plan your trip to Knaresborough. For those of you that won't be driving, Knaresborough is well connected by train from locations such as Harrogate, Leeds and York. Start the morning with a visit to Market Place. If you visit on a Wednesday, you can catch the popular Knaresborough Market. But if not, you can stop by to find the statues of Prophetess Mother Shipton and local hero Blind Jack, who was a pioneering road builder of the 18th century. As you walk around Knaresborough, keep your eyes peeled for the painted windows dotted around, which illustrate characters and events from the town's history. Walk two minutes from Market Place to Knaresborough Castle, which is one of the top rated attractions in the town. Once a stronghold of medieval kings, the castle ruins you see today date back to the 1300s and are set on top of a cliff overlooking the river. If you Google image search Knaresborough, many of the photos you will see will be from this spot and for good reason. The castle grounds offer the best vantage point over the town and you'll have spectacular views of the iconic viaduct towering over the River Nid. From April to September you can pay a small fee to enter the castle and courthouse museum or you can wander the grounds for free at any time of year. While you're exploring the grounds you're likely to come across the castle ravens. Try and spot the African pied crow who speaks to visitors in a thick Yorkshire accent. You alright? You alright darling? I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, what? As friendly as the ravens appear, apparently they've been known to steal cameras and phones, so I'd probably watch your belongings, right, just in case. Once you have finished chatting to the ravens, take a short walk through the small but beautiful flower-filled Bebra Gardens. These picturesque gardens are free to enter and are a tranquil spot for a break from the crowds. There's even a paddling pool in the lower end of the gardens that they fill up for you to use in the warmer months. After spending some time in the gardens, you can now exit down by the river. Next, head to Mother Shipton's Cave. While you could walk there in about 10 minutes, we would recommend you take your time strolling along the scenic riverside. With cliffs on one side and the river on the other, this is a beautiful, albeit busy, place to walk. Watch the boat is floating along and admire the charming cottages nestled along the waterfront. Should you fancy a break, there are plenty of pubs, cafes and ice cream shops for you to treat yourself. Mother Shipton's Cave is supposedly England's oldest tourist attraction. Born in 1488, Mother Shipton was most famous for her prophecies as she supposedly predicted events such as the Great Fire of London, the French Revolution and the American Civil War. Once you pay your admission, walk by the riverside towards the cave, which was Mother Shipton's birthplace. Next to the cave is the petrifying well, which we thought was the most interesting part of the attraction. For centuries, people believed that the well could turn objects into stone in just a matter of weeks or months. There's also a small museum where you can see petrified items donated by celebrities and TV programmes over the years. After Mother Shipton's Cave, stop at one of the inviting cafes or beer gardens along the river for lunch or a drink. One option we would suggest is Mother Shipton's Inn, as it's conveniently located by the exit of Mother Shipton's Cave. It has good online reviews and a beautiful quiet beer garden. After all that relaxing, it's time to walk back to the river and hire a rowboat and get yourself an arm workout. It might appear peaceful and romantic, but it's actually quite a bit harder than it looks. You can hire a boat from a couple of locations along the river, Marigold's Cafe or Blankhorn's Boats. At Blankhorn's Boats, we paid £7 per person for an hour, which was well worth it. On a busy weekend day, the queue can get very long, but in our experience, it moves quite quickly. If you do want to avoid the queue and have the river mostly to yourself, then the river is much quieter in the morning. However, if you prefer your tranquil boating experience to be more like slow motion bumper cars, then go later in the day, it's still a lot of fun. <laughs> See? Yeah. Narrowly avoided. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just push your oars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy. 
End your day with a pint in one of Knaresborough's many excellent pubs. We would particularly recommend the cosy atmosphere and beer selection at Blind Jack's, back on Marketplace. We have other videos from the UK if you are looking for more suggestions for days out, which I will link here. We also share videos from our holidays around the world, so check out our channel for future travel inspiration and guides. Thank you for watching this video, we hope this itinerary has given you some ideas for your day out in Knaresborough.